name is Julius, and I'm a non-native English speaker who got a band 9 on my first attempt at taking the IELTS speaking test. Welcome to IELTS Dragon. So today, let us study the recent cue cards shared by students online for the months of September, October, November, and December. But just a disclaimer, it's not 100% guaranteed that you will get one of these topics in your actual IELTS speaking test. But that's all right. Let's just prepare some ideas for each cue card. We have nothing to lose anyway. It's better to be 100% prepared than to feel sorry for not preparing enough. Well, anyway, if you want to get the full version of my reviewer that helped many students pass their IELTS speaking exams, then send me an email. Let's begin. The first cue card is about a problem you had while shopping online. Let's gather some ideas. Well, some common problems with shopping online are the item that's delivered to you um, was defective, or it's not what you really ordered, or you were scammed by the online shop where you bought a certain item, or maybe the customer service of that particular online shop didn't respond to your complaints. Well, I think that this topic is relatable simply because I think at least we experienced this. Like, we had one unfavorable experience of shopping online. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say I bought a branded bag from, let's say, an online shop that really sells uh, bags. Uh, I thought it was authentic, so I paid a huge amount of money. And unfortunately, when I got the item, I was shocked, or I was very surprised, because uh, the bag wasn't authentic. Uh, so what I did was I filed a complaint. Uh, however, that shop took so much time to respond to my complaint. Uh, of course, I got frustrated. Uh, so for me to talk more about that and for me to add more details to my story, I'll just simply talk about how frustrated I was. Uh, easy. Let's move on to our second cue card about a TV program you like. The first thing that we need to do here is to know the different types of TV programs. So what are those uh, different types of TV programs? Well, we have news and current affairs, series or drama, game shows, rom-com, documentary, and many more. Identifying the type of TV program is important because it helps your mind focus on the subject that you're about to talk to. So if I talk about a news program, my mind is more focused on talking about the benefits that I get upon watching that program. Like, I am informed, get educated, about the latest happenings in my country and, of course, the world in terms of what? Politics, economy, business, and more. So here, if you notice, I actually used topic words, which I just mentioned. So using topic words is important because I'll be able to express myself more and I'll be able to show my vocabulary skills or knowledge to my examiner. So that's a plus point. In my case, I don't watch any TV program because for me, it's just a waste of time. So if I get this uh, cue card, I'll just make things up. I mean, I'll make a story and I'll go for talking about um, news program. Why? Because it's much easier. Well, the main purpose of news program is actually to inform or educate the public. So I'll just use general knowledge to talk about a news program. Much easier. 
Next, we have a time is searched for information. It's easy to develop a story out of this cue card if you relate this to your personal experience. For example, I think most of you are studying IELTS because you either want to work abroad or study abroad. So why don't you use that idea to create a monologue? For example, uh, you had to search for important information on how to process your application for working or studying abroad. Maybe you searched for an agency that could help you process your application. Or maybe you searched for some important information about the country where you want to work in or study. Like you searched information or you searched about the cost of living of that country, lifestyle, culture, tradition, and many more. So develop a story out of your personal experience of preparing to work abroad or maybe preparing to study abroad. Are you stuck at 6 or 6.5? Are you busy with your work? Don't have enough time to prepare efficiently for the IELTS speaking test? Then I would love to offer you my reviewers. My reviewers helped many students pass their IELTS speaking test because they learned how to prepare strategically and efficiently. They learned how to develop a story or a monologue in part two in a more organized, interesting, and natural way. Not only that, they also learned how to discuss their answers in part three in a more sensible way. Well, I just want to congratulate successful students who used my reviewers and of course passed their IELTS speaking test from July to August. We have Princey Mary, 7.5, Sally, 7, Jairus Galvis, 7, Jamie Marie Bata, 7, Ella Idian, 7, Cherilyn Aquino, 7, Christy Sharma, 7, Paul Christopher Lapidan, 7. Get samples of my reviewers now and see how my reviewers help you. And of course, see if you need a full version of my reviewers. Please send me an email. I will surely reply to your email. Let's move on to another cue card and it's about a movie you watched recently and want to watch again. So just like uh, the cue card about a TV program, I also want you to identify the movie genre of the movie that you want to talk about in your story. Well, will it be an action film? A drama? Comedy? Well, what are other genres can you think of? So it is important to talk about why you would like to watch it again. Maybe because what? Because perhaps the plot is confusing. Well, there are movies that need a rewatch because sometimes we just can't understand the story. Or we want to watch it again because we want to understand more about the character. What else? Um, you want to know why things uh, happen and, you know, things like that. Uh, or maybe you want to watch it again because that movie is uh, inspirational. Well, it motivates you to keep going um, in life. Uh, well, sometimes we need uh, some motivation uh, for us to continue living. And sometimes rewatching a movie that is really inspirational is the key to getting ourselves motivated in life. Don't you think so? So, yeah, focus on the reason why you want to watch it again. Our next cue card is about an important thing you learned not at school. Well, most of the time, life skills can be learned outside the school. For example, budgeting, cooking. Well, we can learn cooking from our parents. What else? Uh, maybe editing. Especially these days uh, that uh, content creation is uh, a trend. I mean, it's what people are doing these days because of the existence of social media. Uh, we can learn about editing through 
um, YouTube uh, or you know enrolling in an online course uh, my advice here is to simply talk about what really interests you the most uh, because it's much easier to develop a story if you're talking about something that really interests you. I can simply talk about uh, editing since I'm here on YouTube. You know, I create videos and editing is part of it. So it's much easier for me to develop a story because that's what I do. I mean, every now and again, I edit videos. So because I have some experiences of editing, I'll be able to add more details to my story that will surely help me talk for two minutes uh, for sure you learned something new uh, it may be related to your work there are so many uh, things that we actually learned uh, uh, at work so talk about it uh, maybe you attended a seminar or training that would help you develop your skills so talk about it let's move on to our next cue card and it's about a story or novel you have heard well since I don't read novels lately I didn't talk about a novel in my reviewer I instead I simply talked about a conspiracy theory as a story um, the cue card is asking us to describe a story or a novel which means either any type of story or a novel so what I did in my reviewer was I simply talked about the conspiracy theory about COVID I talked about it as a story well as we know so many stories uh, or conspiracy theories circulated on social media about uh, COVID especially during the height of the pandemic um, it was believed that COVID was created as a or as a bio warfare. I think you have heard that one too. So I use it as uh, my story, as my answer to this cue card. I talked about uh, how some people got scared about COVID, <clears throat> sorry, and how some people rejected uh, the vaccines after reading those conspiracy theories or stories for me that is much easier to talk about because it's really timely and you can add your you know opinion about those conspiracy theories or those funny stories about covid before we continue i would love to congratulate my one-on-one -on -one coaching program students who passed the test. Mary May Buenaventura, 7.5. Rosemary, 7.5. Princey Mary, 7.5. Hazel Gomez, 7. Crystal Ribai, 7. Karen Alejandria, 7. Carmi Patricia Carmona, 7. Jamie Marie Mata, 7. Ella Edian, 7. Mitch Malagamba, 7, and Hazel Homakio, 7. Thank you so much, everyone, for hiring me as your coach and for believing in my ability. I'm just so happy for your success. And I would love to congratulate my avid viewers who just watched my videos and passed the test. Prudentia Patricia, 8, or Band 8. Monolyn Barth, 7. Marmi Gwichi, 7. GB Joy Banting, 7. Congratulations, everyone, for passing the IELTS speaking test. Thank you so much for believing in me, and I wish you all the best. Good luck on your American dream. And to you who is watching this video, I'm really looking forward to mentioning your name in my next video. You can do it. Next. A time you received money as a gift well in some cultures getting money as a birthday gift is common but to those people who have a different cultural background receiving money is frowned upon so if you're one of those people who thinks receiving money as a gift is not common in your culture and you don't have any experience of it 
what I can suggest is to make up a story. For example, you can say like this, to be totally honest with you, receiving money as a birthday gift isn't a part of our culture. We don't practice that simply because we believe it isn't a good thing. So you can start your monologue or your story with that statement. That statement is actually um, giving an idea to your examiner of what your culture is like in terms of gift giving. Then you can transition by saying, however, I got to experience getting money as a gift on my last birthday from a foreign friend. And then you can explain in your story that your friend simply didn't know about your uh, gift giving culture because again he is foreign something like that and i think you can simply add more details to your story by describing your reaction or maybe your feelings after receiving that money as a gift from your foreign friend and to make it more interesting Maybe you can also talk about how you informed your foreign friend um, after your birthday that, you know, uh, giving money as a gift on one's birthday isn't really common in your culture. I think that's an interesting idea. Let us have a popular place for sports. So what are those popular places for sports? Gymnasiums, arenas, rinks and outdoor fields think about two reasons uh, why it's popular so why did i say two reasons because one reason isn't enough uh, if you only prepare one reason then for sure you will run out of things to say in the middle of your storytelling so prepare two reasons for example the first reason uh could be it is wide. It's popular because it's wide. It's huge. Uh, it can accommodate a huge number of uh, people. Then you can add uh, specific details uh, uh, to your story talking about how wide uh, that arena or gymnasium is. And your second reason could be um, uh, it's popular because of its historical significance. Let us say it's the first arena or it's the first gymnasium uh, that is built in your country or in your state. Then to extend your you know, story for two minutes, adding more details th that uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, the history of that arena or gymnasium will surely help you uh, develop an interesting uh, story. And uh, adding, you know, those details about the history of the gymnasium or arena will help you talk for two minutes. Uh, so that's much easier than just providing one reason why it's popular. So at least two reasons, because you will surely be able to talk for two minutes. We have here a time you made a decision to wait for something. Well. First of all, you need to think of one specific instance that made you decide to wait. For example, uh, you waited to travel to your dream destination uh, for maybe a couple of months or maybe a year because you're still saving money. You didn't want to depend or rely on your credit card because you didn't want to spend money that you didn't have in your bank account yet. Uh, another example could be you decided to wait for another five years or maybe 10 years uh, to settle down uh, or you know to get married uh, because you're still saving up. Uh, you wanted to have your own house first or to have enough savings because you just uh, didn't want to have difficulty or a hard time in your marriage. Well, I find this a topic, a piece of cake, simply because we all experience waiting. 
uh, we needed to delay our actions or decisions because uh, we needed to consider a lot of important things and we also wanted to make sure that uh, uh, we could enjoy our you know decision later so we needed to wait for a couple of uh, weeks or months or years uh, before completely deciding on something and that's pretty natural next a time you shared something with others well some common things uh, that we share with other people are personal things wi-fi or internet connection food and if you're lucky enough uh, to have trusted friends you can share some of your problems with them and hear their valuable pieces of advice i think uh, those uh, are very good ideas choose one of those ideas and uh, create a monologue well some reasons why we share things with others are we care about them we love them we trust them or we just simply want them to experience what we have i think there are so many reasons why we share something with other people so include them in your monologue let's move on to our next cue card and it's about an object that you think it's beautiful well one example i can give you here is a piece of artwork maybe it's a painting or sculpture you must provide some description uh, of that piece of artwork in order for your examiner to visualize how beautiful that thing is for instance an abstract painting hanging on the wall it's beautiful because of how it is painted by the painter it evokes emotions or perhaps the color is vibrant or maybe monochrome and you can add the story behind that painting perhaps that painting has an interesting story that makes it even more beautiful well just make use of your imagination then your creativity or your imagination will be able to help you develop a really interesting monologue yeah, you can do it we have here a time you forgot an appointment let's identify some of those appointments that people forget we have a business meeting appointment a doctor's appointment a car maintenance appointment and maybe a lunch date with a friend then we can think of a reason or reasons why we forgot to attend uh, our appointment perhaps because we're just too busy with our work or with uh, some personal affairs or maybe because there is an emergency uh, that we needed to attend to that made us forget our appointment anyway um, i have here an expression uh, that you can use for this uh, topic and uh, the expression is slip someone's mind or memory which means to be forgotten by someone try using that expression that is an interesting expression let's have a cue card about a childhood friend well what i can advise you here is when you talk about your childhood friend you start telling your examiner who this person is or what he does in his life like you can talk about you know his profession after that uh, tell your examiner how you met uh, how you met him and how you became good friends then describe uh, the qualities that he has in that way you will be able to talk more you'll be able to add more details to your story and of course helps you express yourself for two minutes uh, this shouldn't be difficult because all of us have a childhood friend uh, you just have to make sure that your ideas are not all over the place you have to organize your ideas so that your examiner will not be confused and you know your examiner can understand 
uh, the entirety of your story. So organize your ideas uh, so that you can come up with a very solid uh, monologue. Yeah, you can do it for sure. Next, a disagreement you had with someone. Disagreements uh, take place if there is no proper communication or if there is a misunderstanding. So some common disagreements uh, happen at work or at home with family or with co-workers or with friends. For example, let's say at work, you have a disagreement with your co-worker about a certain task because both of you cannot agree on things. You know, both of you, bo both of you have your own way of, you know, doing things. Plus, you know, both of you don't compromise. You have like strong opinions about something. As a result, you know, both of you cannot work as a team. Or if you want to talk about a personal matter, then that's fine. Eh? Maybe you had, a, you had a disagreement with your dad or with your mom. I think that is much easier because it's something very personal. So when we talk about something very personal, I think we'll be able to add more details to it. Too. But for those uh, who feel so uncomfortable talking about their personal, you know, experience or personal matter, then you can just make up a story. For sure, you had some experiences about uh, disagreements. We have here describing an impressive English lesson. What I can suggest here is to think about one weakness that you had upon learning English and make up a story about how that weakness of yours improved because of one impressive English lesson that you had. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say your weakness is uh, pronunciation. So you can talk about uh, how your English teacher addressed uh, the problem. Let's say he exposed you to a lot of pronunciation drills such as tongue twisters, uh, vowel and consonant uh, exercises, singing songs, and many more. Then your teacher made sure that your tongue became flexible. Then after that, talk about how impressive um, the lesson was. It was maybe impressive because it didn't take so many dice to improve your pronunciation. Let's say after three dice, your pronunciation became better. Wow, that's really impressive after three days. And let's say that's the only lesson that really addressed your uh, problem in pronunciation. And because of that, you realized that that lesson was really impressive. Let's move on to an interesting place in your country that you'd like to recommend to tourists. So what's in a place? that makes you like to recommend to tourists? Well, perhaps because of its spectacular natural views, or because of delicious foods, or because of its history and culture. I'm sure that you have a lot of ideas about this topic. You can surely add your own ideas. Just provide a couple of reasons why would you like to recommend this place to tourists. Having two or maybe three reasons uh, would be enough for you to develop a better story. Let me give you an example. Let's say one of the places in your country has the best beach uh, where tourists can enjoy swimming, snorkeling, and even diving. Besides, the food is incredibly delicious, yet very cheap. And lastly, the people are so warm. And you can just add more details to each reason that I mentioned 
to make your story more substantial. That's easy. You can do it. Next is a song or piece of music you like. First things first, know the music genre of the song that you want to talk about. Will it be classical, pop, folk, R&B, country music, or maybe rock? Then talk about its melody or maybe its tempo. Is it slow or upbeat? Of course, don't forget to talk about the lyrics of the song. What's the message of the song or the music? Is it about love? Is it about social injustice? Success or what? Think about it. Include that in your story because that will surely help you create a story that is really interesting. Besides, you'll be able to speak more since you're talking about the message of the song. Let me give you an example. Listen to this song. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. If you hear something late at night, it's a kind of trouble, some kind of fight. Just don't ask me what it was. Just don't ask me what it was. Well, that song talks about child abuse. For example, let's say I like that song because of the message. The message of the song gives us awareness of sensitive issues that we all need to understand. Not only that, uh, that song reminds us of our social responsibility to protect uh, those who are vulnerable. Something like that. For sure, you'll be able to develop a very good monologue. And not just a good monologue, but substantial and, of course, interesting. Another cue card is about a person who inspired you. I think this is one of the easiest uh, topics simply because there is always someone in our lives uh, who really inspires us. Uh, well, it could be our parents, uh, one of our parents, or one of our siblings, or maybe a friend, um, a celebrity, or even a leader. What I can advise you here for you to speak for two minutes is to talk about his profession or what he does in a community that brings a positive change. Because surely if you do that, you will be able to develop a monologue that is substantial and of course more meaningful. For example, talking about Keanu Reeves. Let's say you got inspired by his humbleness despite his fame and money. So you look up to him and you want to be like him, being grounded and being a good person. Simple and easy. So yeah, I, I think uh, that can be a very good uh, idea. You can talk about Keanu Reeves or maybe you can talk about someone in your family who really inspires you to do something good or to be a better person. You can do it. Too. What we have next is an outdoor activity that you did in a new place. In my reviewer, I simply talked about my first experience of kayaking on one of the most beautiful islands in Australia. I just described how kayaking is done, how I learned it, and what did I feel or what I felt doing it. For sure, you have done uh, an interesting outdoor activity in a new place that's unforgettable so talk about it uh, it may be snorkeling maybe diving scuba diving uh, or maybe you did some extreme outdoor activities like bungee jumping skydiving or maybe zip lining choose one of those outdoor activities that really made you happy talk about that because you know, it's unforgettable. If it's unforgettable, you really have a lot of things to say. And if it made you really happy doing that, then for sure you have a lot of things to say. So choose one of those uh, unforgettable, uh, you know, outdoor activities. Uh, 
uh, for sure you'll be able to provide more details to the story and it'll help you develop a, a two-minute monologue yeah you can do it our next uh, cue card here is a person from a different culture in other words someone who is a foreigner maybe you have a foreign friend or a foreign teacher what i want you to do here is focus on at least two distinct characteristics of this person for example maybe he knows your language very well that is he can definitely communicate with you using your own language well in reality we're always amazed if a foreign person can speak our own language another thing um, maybe his personality is admirable uh, maybe he's a kind-hearted person he loves to help underprivileged uh, people and he's very accommodating and maybe you can also talk about the things that you learned from him in terms of his own culture which helps you uh, become an open-minded person these things are really interesting that can help you develop a great monologue let's move on to our next uh, cue card and it's about a time you saw a lot of plastic waste well the example that i can give you here is a resort that is not well managed by a private institution let's say there is no proper waste management and the people or the visitors in that resort are not well educated about preserving the resort or in general preserving the environment and let's say they just throw plastic anywhere they want again no discipline and then maybe uh, you can make up a story uh, about organizing a cleanup drive to improve the condition of the resort or maybe uh, you reported uh, uh, that resort to the ministry of uh, the environment so the management of that resort would improve the condition of uh, the place and then maybe after you reported uh, uh, that resort to the ministry of the environment the resort got uh, improved dramatically you know something like that so i have given you lots of ideas already so all you need to do is organize them to develop uh, an interesting or an easy to understand monologue you can do it let's have describing a person who loves to grow plants well this could be anyone but if you want to be more specific so that you can talk a lot then you can talk about a horticulturist or a farmer i think it's easy to talk about a farmer for example let's say your father is a farmer who owns three hectares of land one hectare is for fruit bearing plants and uh, the two hectares are for root crops so ever since he was a child he already enjoys uh, planting because well it's also his or it's also the job of his uh, parents uh, or your grandparents uh, and because of your uh, father's uh, talent in growing uh, plants you have a good life uh, i mean your family is living comfortably because your family's uh, farm is incredibly doing well well just add some more ideas just make use of your creativity anyway uh, an expression that you can use uh, for this uh, topic is green thumb uh, which means uh, having a natural talent for growing plants so try using that expression that is a very good expression actually for this topic next i have here someone's home you know well that you often visit so what are those reasons why you keep uh, coming back to the house uh, maybe the house is a perfect uh, place for relaxation i mean like it's in the countryside and it's surrounded by many beautiful trees 
Not only that, there is a lake nearby where you can enjoy, um, you know, doing some water activities. Um, or maybe you often visit that house because the people living in the house are lovely people and they keep inviting you and you cannot say no. Well, adding descriptions of the looks of this house to your story would be ideal simply because your examiner will be able to visualize or imagine what this house looks like. For example, it's a two-story detached house. It's made of bricks and it's color white. When you do that, it's much easier to uh, imagine. And not only that, you will be able to, you know, add more details to your uh, story because, you know, you have a lot of things to say. You have provided descriptions. So those descriptions will give you more ideas and that will help you speak for two minutes. Next, I have here a photo you took that you're proud of. Since this is one of the easiest topics to talk about, what I can suggest here is to add some useful topic words. For example, you can add uh, portrait photography, black and white or monochrome, vintage themed photo, and many more. Also, spice up your story. Maybe you can add something really dramatic to your story. Like uh, the photo was taken using your first bought camera. Or maybe that photo tells a success uh, story despite struggles in life. You know, something like that. These ideas can surely add more meaning to your story. Uh, if your story is creative enough, then it'll help you utilize your English communication skills more, which is very important so that your examiner can understand your English communication skills better. Our next uh, cue card here is a person who likes to dress fashionably or well. First of all, you must have at least basic ideas about fashion. For example, if we talk about men, we have jet setter style, the ragged man, uh, the street style guy, and the rock star. For women, we have chick style, what else, um, casual style, and we have artsy style. Well, it'll be hard for you to develop a monologue on this topic if you don't know some ideas about fashion styles. So make sure to use, or make sure to know some. Once you already know some fashion styles, pick one and focus on describing how that person dresses. And of course, you can share your uh, opinion about how he carries himself in the clothes uh, that he's wearing. For sure, it'll be much easier for you to share your opinion since you already have general knowledge about uh, fashion. You can do it. Get the sample reviewers of mine and see if you need a full version of my reviewers. Be one of the many students who passed their IELTS speaking test for using my IELTS reviewers. Uh, if you find value in this video, give me a like or subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting videos related to the IELTS speaking test. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Bye.